Okay. Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to start with myself, Teacher Lee. Uh, my lesson is on speaking clearly, so pronunciation. Um, and the other part of my lesson is going to be speaking politely, how to be polite and so nice and sweet when you talk to people. Um, it's a big lesson that we have to learn. So let's get into it. Let me just find my slide so I can share it for you. <laughs> okay, I will, I will send this um, slide to the school as well so they can share it um, anywhere that you guys need it. So speaking clearly and politely, I'm just doing the very basics, so let's have a look at it. All languages are made from different sounds that you put together. English is taken from many languages. So it's kind of like a Frankenstein of language. English is made up mostly of Latin, Greek, French, and Dutch. So that's why like sometimes we look... Sorry. <laughs> Please mute your microphone unless you have a question. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so English is made up of mostly Latin, Greek, French, and Dutch. That's why sometimes when we speak, the sound is a little bit weird or different. Okay, but you should know that the sounds of individual letters should be clear sounds. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to be talking about the different letters and what sound they should make. Some of these letters we don't have in Thai. So these are the letters that we actually don't have in Thai, or maybe the sound is quite difficult. Okay, so let's have a look at them. I've kind of split them up. Um, so let's look at the first one uh, on the left side. I encourage you to speak. Okay, so um, you don't have to turn on your microphone, but just practice your sound. Okay, so as I say it, you should say it. And I'll show you how to do my mouth as well. Okay, good thing we don't have moss today and I can, <laughs> I can show you clearly, okay. So the first one is SH sound. Okay, SH sound. So let me just indicate each one as I go along. So the first one here, SH, the sound is just shh, shh, okay? Shh. So imagine you're opening like, you know, your Pepsi, your Coke or something, you open it and it's gonna be shh, shh. We don't have the sound in Thai, right? So shh, shh, sound. Make sure you can say them. We're gonna practice each one using different brands today. So we're actually gonna be using like famous brand, you know, to practice and saying these sounds. The next one is TH sound. This is very difficult sound for some people because you need to put out your tongue. Uh, so if you wanna practice the sound, you have to put out your tongue like this, just a little bit. Uh, uh, uh. So it's gonna be like that. Um, the way that I teach my students is kind of remember like, like an S sound, so, so, right? But then you stick out your tongue as well. And as you stick out your tongue, uh, it's going to make the correct sound. So, so, <laughs> so, so. So I want you to practice at home. Make sure you get the sound right. So, 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 so. Okay, great practice for this sound. The next two sounds that we have problem with in Thai maybe is L and R sound. L and R sound. So in Thai we have, um, often we use the word la ling. And that is a good sound for L, right? La ling, la ling, it makes sense. Sorry, is somebody, 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 somebody. let me just mute you. Okay, there we go. Okay, so for L, yeah, we use the sound like la ling, and that is perfect. But in Thai, we can often swap that sound, right? We can use like la ling or rua, right, for R. But in fact, this is not the same. So this does not work in English. So we can't use r, and we cannot swap R and L. So R is actually a new sound. So I want you just to imagine like you're a little like angry bear, right? R, r, r. So R sounds, okay? Like, are you ready? The first time in Thailand, uh, I was with Thai teacher and I said, are you ready? And he goes, no, 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 I'm not lady. I'm man, I'm man. And he laughed and I'm, what is he talking about? I don't understand. Are you lady? Huh? 
because in English we do not swap R's and L's. So are you ready and are you a lady is a very different word for us and my ears I didn't understand. Are you ready and are you a lady? So we don't swap these. So L for Law Ling, that one is correct. But R for Ra Ra, we cannot do that one. We cannot roll the R. It should just be a R R R sound. Okay, so make sure you get this. A lot of people know a lot of words in English, but we don't say them clearly, right? And you say, oh, but I know this word. Why don't you understand? It's because of this. Okay, we need to sound nice and clear when we're speaking. Another one we don't have in Thai is Z, okay, Z, okay, or some people say Z, right? Z sound, so this is a Z, Z, Z sound. So I tell my students that it's, imagine that your phone is on the table and it vibrate, right? So it's gonna be Z, Z, Z. It has to have that vibration sound. Very similar to S, S, S same mouth, but it's got to vibrate. So it's a good practice for us. Ah, another one that we have is X. X. Now X is quite a difficult sound because it ends in an S. So these are kind of actually linked, right? S and X, if you know these sounds. Okay. So yes, of course, for S. Okay, sorry, I'm just also keeping everybody on mute today as I go along. Okay, so S and X, okay, we have these sounds. They're actually quite similar. Um, I don't know if I'm going to write this, you know, sometimes I write my Thai is wrong too, so sorry. Okay, but like it has that sound, ek, and then we have to add the S on the end. And so that is the same problem as okay, some people have to... with S. Oh, my God, no, man. That is the same problem that some people have with S because in Thai, if we have an S at the end, sometimes it's going to die, right? We don't have that S sound very clear. And it's very important in English to have the S sound. Okay, very important to have the S sound. Ah, one more sound. Oh, two more sounds, sorry. <laughs> okay, here is this sound. We do not have it in Thai. So we do not have this sound in Thai. I know a lot of people use wawan, okay? But I'm going to tell you that this is completely wrong because wawan is W, okay? Wawan is W, wa, 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 okay? But V is different. V is actually closer to the sound F. V, 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 v. So if you look at my mouth, v, 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 v. it's the same mouth shape. But when I make a wa, wa, for W, it's completely different. So I want you guys to stop using wawan as V sound because it's very different sound. V sound is kind of like F, but we have to vibrate. So the same thing we do from S to Z, we do the same thing for F to V. Okay, so please let's step away from wawan. Okay, and the last one. This one is an easy sound for Thai people, right? It's the letter H. Okay, so the sound is easy, right? We can use like a H sound, okay? That is easy. H, H, H. But the letter itself is H. H. So I know a lot of people use like ha hip. We need to change this to make sure that we're using H, like this sound, H. So I heard some people say like a H, ah, H, ah, shouldn't be, should be H, R, H, H. So we don't need to practice this, practice the sound like as in happy hippo. I think that's fine because you can just use um, like a hana cool, right? But when you say the letter by itself, just remember that it's H and not H. It's H, H. Okay. So now let's get into practicing these sounds. So what I've done is I've just found some brands that have the letters in them. So this is gonna help you. Maybe you say them wrong the whole time. I don't know. Maybe you say these wrong. Okay, so the first one, 
good practice for L, good practice for S, the chips that we eat are called lays. Lays. So I suggest if you have a notebook or something, you can write down as well. But the sound is lays. Lays. Make sure you're practicing this as well. Oh, let me go back. Sorry. Do you have any questions? Sorry, I forgot. Do you have any questions? Go back to this page. Any questions about these letters? You can send to me in the chat or you could speak out. คุณครูท่านใดมีคำถามสามารถสอบถามได้เลยนะครับอันนี้จะเริ่มต้นด้วยการสอนออกเสียงนะครับที่เป็นตัวอักษรที่จะเป็นปัญหาสำหรับคนไทยนะครับหากมีข้อสงสัยใดๆสามารถสอบถามที่เชื่อได้เลยนะครับ Thank you teacher Okay so this is practicing the L and the R very different sound okay so let's practice maybe some of these you say differently so let's practice the English way The first one is lays, lays. So very important to get the L sound clearly and to also have the S on the end. Lays, lays. Okay. Another one is let go, let go. Number two, let go. Number three, and my name. Lee, so we have Lee jeans, right? Easy one. Lee. Some people say my name Ri. I've heard it, and they even write with R. Okay, so need to be La La Lee. Okay, another famous brand, Lacoste. Lacoste. Not Lacoste, not Lacoste, just Lacoste. Okay, and this one in Thai we say different. So if the L is at the end, we have to say L. Google. Google. So I know in Thai we say Google, but in English we have to say the L sound. Google, Google. I have this uh, problem with student name as well. So when I started teaching, some student told me, "Oh, this is my name. My name is P L E," and I go, "Oh, hello, nice to meet you, Play." That's what I thought their name is, Play. Oh, hello, Play. Nice to meet you, Play. And they said, "No, my name not Play. My name is Ben." And I'm very confused, <laughs> super confused by the sound. Okay, so for me, if you want to say like "bun," you might say like that or like this, right? Bun, but P L E is going to be play <laughs> because the L at the end should be an L. So Google, Apple, all of those brands. Okay, so don't get confused if you see the L at the end. Now let's practice this. This is more difficult for sure. Is the R sound the R sound? So let me just mute. Okay, so the sound r r Rolls Royce, Rolls Royce, the type of car, right? Rolls Royce. This one is difficult because it has an R, it has an L, and the S, an R and S again. So Rolls. Rolls, Royce, Royce. Okay. Next one, a uh, sport brand, Reebok. So now make sure you get the re versus the li. So these are good ones to practice together. Li, and in this one, Reebok. La la li, re. Can you see my mouth is quite different. Li, Reebok, Reebok. Okay. Uh, this is famous brand from Thailand and Singapore. It's Red Bull. Red Bull. Again, have R and L. Not getting dang. <laughs> okay. And here we have macro. 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 So just to show you the R, even in the middle, we have to say it. Macro. 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 Okay, so since we're practicing, let us have some people practice these sounds. So I'm going to choose some uh, people from this list, and let us have them practice our sounds as we go along. Let's start with the first one. Is lays? It's lays. Um, I'm going to call some people. Let me get my participants. We have 112. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's start with. Um, I'm sorry if I say your names wrong. Um, 
Ah, so the first person name is Jack. Do we have Jack? Is Jack here? Teacher Jack, are you there? Can you put on your microphone and say the word lays for me, Teacher Jack? Oh my gosh, it's like teaching students all over. Come on. <laughs> okay, let me choose from the teachers with a video. Maybe that's easier. Uh, teacher Niracha, Niracha, are you there? Hello, Kun Niracha. Hello. Hi. Could you please say this word for me, lays? Lays. Wow. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Clear L, clear S. Great. See, English is easy, yo. <laughs> um, who do we have next? Chanidapa. Chanidapa. Are you there? Did I say it okay? Chanidapa, right? Chanidapa. A lovely lady. พี่พี่หามหรือเปล่าครับพี่หามครับชนิดาผาชนิดาผาไหมคะชนิดาผาคุณครูชนิดาผาโอเคกรีดโอเค so just practice you you have to turn on microphone don't be scared don't be scared <laughs> ask to unmute sorry I'm teacher Jack ah you need to put on microphone teacher ชนิดาผา unmute no. Can you do teacher it? Jack is here. Oh, Teacher Jack, are you here still? Yeah, let him turn out first. Okay, Teacher Jack, could you say Lego? Lego. Lego, nice. One more time, Lego. Lego. Good. Okay, that L sound nice and clear. La la la. Thank you, Teacher Jack. Uh, teacher Superpon, are you there? Superpon so one. Oh my gosh, I can't say the name. <laughs> สุภาพรสมานเกียรติหรือเปล่า Thank you that one yes พี่พรครับพี่พวางอังเตอร์ควาซิน Hello teacher Hello hello welcome Okay could you practice this one for me Lee 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 And then let's practice with difficult one Reebok 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 Good lovely Thank you Thank you. Okay, let's see who else is here. Um, teacher, Sunantha Kasim. So what? <laughs> Did I say it right? Hello. Hi. Could you say these two for me? Lacoste. 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 Good. And Google. Google. Wow. Good. Good. Okay. Lovely. Thank you. Uh, let's go to teacher Suwapat. Suwapat sang something ngam, I'm sure. Sang on ngam. Am I close? Suwapat sang on ngam, teacher Lee. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Hello, hello. So this one is so difficult. Could you say Rolls Royce? Lo Roy. Okay, one more time. Try to get the S sound as well. Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce. Okay, lovely. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, that S sound is very difficult in, in Thai as well. Okay. Um, let's see who's next. Kru Som Dai Klang We Jit. I can read Thai, but I think another teacher cannot. <laughs> but my Thai is the uh, 50-50, you know. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher Song Thai. Uh, could you say Red Bull? Red Bull. One more time. Red Bull. Red Bull. Perfect. Good job. Okay. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. And let's see if I can find one more person. Um, teacher, is it Sulakana? Sulakana. Hello. Sulakana. Hi. Okay. Uh, the last one is macro. 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 Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so everybody at home should be practicing these sounds so that you can speak clearly. Let's go on to Z sound. So maybe you heard Z, maybe you heard Z. So don't be confused. Z, oh, sorry, let me just write. Z is just from the UK, so like England, uh, Ireland, and Z is American or Canadian. Okay, they might say Z. I say Z because South Africa is British English. Okay. So Z, um, the first one, the coffee brand, right? Amazon. Amazon. So you say, oh, would you like some Amazon coffee? Amazon. So make sure your mouth zzz, sound. Zzz. Okay. Next one, the clothing brand, Zara. Zara. So I heard a lot of people say, oh, I'm going to go shopping, Salah, Salah. And I, what? You're going to go to Salah, the hotel? So, sala ayutia, right? Like the hotel. And Zara. Zara, the clothing brand. Za, z, and ra, r, ra. So, we have the Z and the R to practice there. Zara. Ah, next one, zinc. Zinc, like the mineral, also a brand. Zinc. Z, z, ink. Okay. This one. You might be confused, why did I put this one? It doesn't have Z in it, but the sound is Z. So we don't say X rocks, we say Z rocks, Z rocks. And I think Thai people use this word for like copy any paper, right? So we use the word photocopy, and I think Thai people use Xerox, am I right? Like I need to Xerox the paper, right? Oh, okay, so we use the word photocopy, and Xerox is just a brand. Xerox. This one good practice for Z and X, which we will do on the next page. Lazada. Lazada. Z, z, zada. La, za, da. Okay. Lazada. Got it? Okay. I'm sure you like to shop, same, same as me, so you know this one. Uh, and the last one, Sizzler. 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 So this one, a little bit like a softer Z, it's not like a Z, but actually like Sizzler, Sizzler. Sizzle is just the sound of like, you know, meat on the, the bry or something, meat on the barbecue, Z, Sizzler. Okay, so one more time we have Amazon, Zara, Zinc, Xerox, Lazada, and Sizzler. So let's just practice a few of these. I don't want to take too much time. Um, let's have a look at, oh my gosh, guys, I can't say all of these names, you know. Uh, teacher, um, na, what, cow, din, are you there? Teacher, um, na, what, cow, din, did I say it right? Hi. Me, oh, I think he's frozen. No, different arm. Hola <laughs> arm, Oh, too many arms in. <laughs> okay, I think his uh, it's frozen. Two, oh, only two. Okay, what about a uh, teacher? Natamon su 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 chai rat. Did I get it Hello. right? Hi. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with some coffee. Amazon. 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 Good, lovely, and. Zara. Zara. Do you like to shop at Zara clothes? Zara. Do you like Zara clothes? Do you like it? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I don't have <laughs> the money for oh, buying same. that. <laughs> same. I like, but I cannot. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, what about um, who is Supapon? Potong, right? Potong. Am I right? Hello. Hello. Hi, crew. Okay, so zinc. 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 Good. And Xerox. 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 Okay, so with the X at the end, we need to X. Xerox. 
Yes, okay, good, lovely. We will practice X, I think, on the next one. Okay, uh, two more is teacher. Ma Li Wan, is it Ma Li Wan? Did I get it right? Nah, nah. Ah, oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Okay, Lazada. Lazada. Good, and Sizzler. Sizzler. Nice, great. Okay. Do you like Lazada or do you like Shopee? Which one do you like? like Shopee. Shopee, <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, so these are practicing our Z sounds. Okay, the next one is X. I went back to Xerox. Okay, because X is quite difficult to say. X, X. So Xerox, Fox News. Not Fog News, not Frog News, but Fox News. Fox News. Uh, the gaming station, Xbox, Xbox. Everybody knows this one, Netflix. Maybe you say wrong, maybe you say Netflix, Netflix. We should say Netflix, Netflix. Okay. And finally, the very famous watch brand, Rolex, Rolex. Again, I like, but I cannot, <laughs> I cannot buy it. <laughs> Too expensive. Um, let me ask teacher, oh, I don't know if I can say your name. Oh, they just disappeared, Never mind. Uh, let's ask, Chitipon Chan Hom, are you there? Hello, teacher. Hi. Okay, <laughs> could you try saying Xerox? Xerox. Good. And Fox News? Fox News. Yay. Yay. Thank job, you. Teacher. Yay. Uh, Ku Supanit. Supanit. I don't know how to say your surname. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Could you say Xbox? <laughs> X box. X box. Good, lovely, thank you. Okay. Ah, teacher Pong Pon, Richardi. Hello. My friend at uh, assembly every day, Kao Tao. <laughs> okay. Netflix. Net Netflix. 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 Do you have Netflix? Netflix? Do you have Netflix? No. No, you don't? Oh, okay. You need to get Netflix. It's good. <laughs> okay. okay. Lovely. Good job. Okay. And we have the final one. Rolex. Rolex. Okay. These are sounds. Need to practice just the S part of it. So don't say ek, z, rock, fuck, news, ek, rock. Have to make a full sound. Z, rock, news, x, box. Okay. So um, make sure nice, clear sound. Z, rock. Good, good, Xerox. Fuck me. Okay, can we move on to next one? Thank you. Okay, the next one is V sound. Now, this is the one that I said, please, please stop using wall wan. Okay, stop using wall wan. We're going to throw wall wan away for this one. Okay, I don't want to see it. Wall wan. No, shoo shoo. Okay. So here we have different sound. If you cannot make the v sound, you have to start with F sound. That's why don't get confused, okay? F sound and add the v sound, which is the vibration, like the phone on the table. V, v. Okay, so let's start with the first one. I'm sure a lot of you know. Nivea. 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 Versace. Versace. If you don't know Versace, you need to listen to like Bruno Mars or something. Versace on the floor. Vera Wang. Vera Wang. Vera. Vera. Vans. The shoe brand. Vans. Vans. And this one, the most popular shop in Thailand. 7 Eleven. Seven Eleven. So I don't want to hear like, oh, I go to seven. No, I'm going to seven, seven, eleven. Okay, so practice the sound. V, v. Nivea, Versace, Vera Wang, Vans, seven, eleven. 
Okay, I want to see you guys practicing these sounds. Seven, eleven. Um, let us ask who is still here. Uh, Kru Supan. Oh, I already asked you. Uh, Krunok, Krunok, are you here? Krunok, are you here? Which here? Can Hi, Kunok. Could you say this one for me? Nivia. Nivia. I, I cannot open the video uh, tab and it's then for some screen. So okay. Can you say Nivia? Okay. Nivia. Good. And uh, what about Versace? Yeah. Versace. Versace. Good. Okay. Thank you. Lovely. Nice and clear. Thank you, Kuno. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay. And I think this one we all need to practice. We all need to practice. Make sure you get it right. Seven, eleven. Seven, eleven. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is this the last one? Oh, okay. Okay. So T H. I'm just gonna start rushing. We have to go a little bit faster. <laughs> okay, so we always see TBT, right? Hashtag TBT on uh, Instagram or Facebook. It means throwback Thursday, throwback Thursday. So if you see TBT, hashtag TBT, now you know it's throwback Thursday. Now remember for TH, we need to have our tongue out. For TH, we need to have our tongue out. So don't be, don't be shocked when you see my tongue. Th -th -th -th. Throwback Thursday, throwback Thursday. Another one, Thor, Thor. If you watch Marvel, you will know about Thor. Maybe some of you watch this sitcom, it's called The Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory. Thermos, th th Thermos, and the North Face. North Face, like a camping brand. The North Face. So if you can say these words, throw back Thursday, Thor, the Big Bang Theory, Thermos, the North Face, the North Face. So please don't be shocked. You have to stick out your tongue. I promise you. So th 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 th. Don't be shocked. Okay. Let's see your tongue. <laughs> should practice with your tongue. Okay, let's ask uh, some teachers to help us. Teacher, is it Tuki? Teacher Tuki? Hi. 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 Okay, so let's practice with TBT hashtag throwback Thursday. Throwback Thursday. One more time, tongue out. Throwback Thursday. Throwback Thursday. Good, lovely. Okay, let's ask teacher, is it Anchali? Am I right, Anchali? I don't know if I say it right. Good Hi. morning. Good morning. Okay, could you do God of Thunder? Thor. 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 Good, lovely. Good accent. Okay. Thank you. Um, what about, is it teacher Apple? Or maybe you say appen, right? <laughs> we spoke about this, right? Apple, appen. Hello, teacher. Hi. Okay. Could you do the last one for us? The North Face. The, the North Face. Go ahead, one more time. Make sure your tongue out. The North Face. The North Face. Good. Lovely. So in the beginning, it's going to be very difficult to practice TH. But remember, tongue out, keep practicing. The, 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 this, 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 thank you. Okay, um, I think the S is okay. We don't need to practice, just listen, right? Repeat after me, Adidas, Adidas. I heard some people say Adidas, I guess it's fine. Lotus, so I often hear people, oh, go to Lotat, Lotat, Lotus, Lotus. Not Lotat, Lotat, Lotus, okay. Starbucks. Starbucks. My student thought is Starbug. They thought is bug B U G. So I thought no 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 not bug not not bug. Starbucks. Watsons. Watsons. And Boots. 
Okay, so these are all very famous shops and brands in Thailand. Adidas, Lotus, Starbucks, Watsons, and Boots. Okay, so make sure you say that S sound at the end. It's very important. Very important. Lotus. That's a good one to practice with Lotus. Okay. So I think that one's okay. Let us go on to last one, SH sound. So this one we don't have in Thai, but actually we use sometimes like a Chiang Mai, right? Like a sh, sh sound. So Toshiba, Wish.com, Sherlock Holmes, Sharp, bee, 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 bee. Sharp. And you might be confused, teacher, why do you have this word? Where is SH in the last word, right? But actually it's play station. Ow. Station. So when you see this word T I O N on the end of a word, this one like a tricky one, okay? When you see T I O N on the end, like this T I O N, like for example the word creation, okay? It's always going to have that sh sound. Creation, okay? A flotation device. Okay, men shin. Okay, so when you see this, don't be shocked. It's actually going to be sh sound. PlayStation creation flotation men shin. So, I'm sorry that it's so confusing in English sometimes. That huh? Why does it have sh sound? But it does for this one. So remember that Thai does not have sh sound, but we do have ch like is in Chiang Mai, right? So it's very similar. Toshiba, Wish.com. Sherlock Holmes, Shopee, Sharp, and PlayStation. Any word that ending in T I O N, you must use the sh in sound. Sh. Okay. I think that's going to be the end of our pronunciation one. Yes. Okay. Do you have any question? Are there any words that you um, that you don't understand or you don't know how to say? Please send in the chat now. Maybe you say, oh, I love this brand, but I don't know how to say it. I can definitely help you with this. Okay, so if you're confused with any words, send it in the chat now, or you can ask me, put up your hand. Otherwise, we can move on to polite speech. Any words or brands that you need help to say? Don't ask me about French brand. I don't know how to speak French. <laughs> ah, okay. So this is a, an example of French brand. So we have, I don't even know how to spell. I think it's like this, right? Okay. So Louis Vuitton. In English, we just say Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. But uh, it's French, so Louis Vuitton. But we can just speak like English. Louis Vuitton. No S sound. No S sound. Louis Vuitton. M Cortier, that's perfect. M Cortier, that's right. Oh, it okay. sounds so fancy already. M Cortier. Uh, okay, somebody ask, uh, ask about Long Champ. Long Champ. So, ch, ch, clear sound. Long Champ. Any other brands? Tax my What is it, teacher? Uh, could you water. could you send in the in the chat? Is it Tag the watch? Fire. Yeah, the watch brand. Tag tag. I think is it this one? Something like that. Yes. Tag, tag, tag. Okay, I don't know this brand. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I don't know this brand, so I'm not sure how to say exactly. Um, but I know my friends call it just tag watch. We often just call it tag. But I don't. I think it might be German, so it's quite difficult to say, even in English. Uh, T A T S E U E R. Tag fire. That's right. It's the word that you just typed, teacher. Okay. Uh, let me just double check. I'm not sure on this word. Even for, okay, I guess that's a lesson, right? We can always look on Google. Thank goodness for Google. Sorry, teacher. Uh, yes. I want to know about uh, Porsche or Porsche. 
Uh, okay, so in English we say Porsche, but Italian you say Porsche. So just say Porsche if we're speaking English. Porsche. Also fashion accessories. Okay, so tag. Tag here. Okay, it's tag here. Uh, it's Swiss. It's Swiss. That's why it's not English word. So quite difficult. Tag here. Swiss word. In Thai, we call tag oil. Oil. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about. Uh, I don't know how to even write it. Peugeot, you know the car brand. Pu Pugo Peugeot. I yeah, heard in Thai we call Peugeot. Peugeot. Oh, Peugeot. But we say Peugeot. 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 Okay, great. If you have any more, you can send in the chat. I will check them out a little bit later. Let's move on to polite speech. We have like ten minutes. I think it's okay. Okay, in Thai or English, we uh, it's quite different to show to be polite. Okay, so we're talking about. So to be polite to someone, the first thing and most important thing, the words please and thank you, we call the magic words. So please and thank you are magic words. We always want to use them. We have like a song for when like kindergarten, and we say please and thank you are called the magic words. We want to use these words. So when you ask for something, you always want to say please, and when you get something. You always want to say thank you. Very important. I know in Thai we always use k o p k u n right? But please, we don't use please that often, like um, road, right? Not really common word. Um, but in English, very important to please. Could you help me? Please, you know, check my work, please. It's something that we always use. So we call these the magic words. If you use these words, you are going to be okay. People will not think that you are being rude. Okay, so this is important thing. Please and thank you. The same, my friends told me when you speak Thai, they said just say cup every time. Just say cup, even if you say the wrong thing. As long as you say cup, they will know. Oh, you are trying to be polite. You are trying to be nice. Same thing in English. If you say please and thank you, I will know. Oh, this person is being nice. A smile can also help a lot, right? So easy ways just to say hello. Um, Okay, we know most of these, right? Hello, how are you? Hi, nice to meet you. Um, the most formal ones, okay. The most formal, like we can use for work, we can use for our boss, we can use for somebody we don't know. The most formal language is here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Okay. We can also use the word good day. That's okay as well. Good day. Now this one, I just want to make sure that we don't get this wrong. Nice to see you again, or good to see you again. Please do not use the word meet. Meet. So meet is only first time. The first time when you meet somebody. Nice to meet you. So we have the example uh, number three says. Nice to meet you. This is only for the first time that we meet somebody. If I see you again, I will say nice to see you again. I don't say nice to meet you again. That's incorrect. Okay. And we have the responses on the right side. I think we don't practice that a lot. Okay. So just. Fine, thank you. I think everybody know that one, right? Fine, thank you. Yeah, I'm fine. Not too bad. Good. So the ones that we can use with our friends, the ones that are more informal, something like "hi" or "hello," "hey." The next page have a few more. What's up? Okay. What's up? Please only, only with friends. So I wouldn't even use this really. What's up? Or some people shorten to be sup. Sup, man. Sup. Okay. This is very informal. This is only for your friends, uh, or if you're like a YouTuber, maybe. <laughs> okay. So please be careful with this one. What's up or sup? Only use with close friends. Otherwise, it could be a little bit rude. Um, using people's names is always good. So when you see somebody, you know their name. Use their name. Hi, Peter. Hey, Peter. Um, How have you been? How have you been? b e n i n g about that when you haven't seen somebody for a long time, then we can say how have you been? Very nice, very polite, very sweet. 
the answers you can see very different okay you can answer anything i'm busy i'm all right i'm very well thank you pretty good nothing much so you can feel free to answer how you want please don't always say i'm fine thank you and you okay can say other things as well right i'm good i've been so busy oh my gosh actually i just had covid but now i feel good um oh i'm excited it's almost some grand holiday we get to have a break you can answer anything you want right especially if somebody said how have you been okay this is like a want you to talk more not just good and you or fine thank you and you how have you been you should answer nice long question okay something like that mm -hmm. just as we say hello it's also important to practice goodbye goodbye okay normal one right a lot of people use the word bye 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 this um it's okay you can use bye bye no problem it's very cute i'm gonna say that right it's so cute if you say bye bye it's so like a nine do <laughs> it's so cute um have a good day take care see you later see you soon see you tonight there's no one answer okay there is a lot that you can do um see you later this one normally if you have a plan though okay talk to you later catch you later this if you have a plan to meet them right oh i will see you next monday okay see you later see you next week something like that we can also say it was great to catch up do you know what catch up is what is catch up anybody know what does catch up mean anybody know catch up what is catch up Anybody know? Great word to use. It was great to catch up. It was lovely to catch up. What are we catching? What are we catching? Hopefully not COVID. What are we catching? Anybody know? What about my Thai teachers? Anybody know? When great. you update. Wow. Okay. Great. When you update each other, anything else? Anybody else? When you update each other on what's been going on in your life. Yeah, it's perfect. Thank you, Belina. Okay, so catching up, you're gonna update, you're gonna tell them what you are doing at this time. So when you finish, like after you have coffee together, you talk for a little bit, you're gonna say, oh, it's great to catch up. Okay, see ya, bye for now, lovely. Have a lovely weekend great things to use okay i'm just gonna jump to oh, okay this one we know the only thing i want to say is please don't just use thank by itself this is incorrect i see a lot of people say thank <laughs> this not right okay and i saw some people say thanking you thanking you this is incorrect unfortunately okay so please don't use these if you want to make thank you shorter Thank you have to change to thanks that is okay but thank you is the best one okay so if you say thank you that's good but thanks is fine too don't say thank or thanking you that is incorrect anything else is perfect okay i think just keep it simple right thank you thanks that's it now it's important to accept a thank you it's this is something we don't really do in Thai culture too much. Maybe like cup, maybe you just say cup. Um, but when my friends learn Thai, they always say like, a, how do I say it's a pleasure? I'm like, uh, you would say my pen dry or yindi, but we don't say it, right? Somebody says cup, kun cup, you're like, oh, cup. that's it, right? Oh, that's it. But in English, we always say like, you're welcome or no problem. Okay. Don't mention it, my pleasure. So my pleasure is kind of like saying yindi, right? Don't mention it. Not at all. It means no problem. You're welcome, yindi. You want to make that person feel special. So when somebody says, thank you, you say, oh, no problem. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Oh, it's nothing. We can use any of these to accept 
a thanks. Okay, so a little bit different. Like the same way you say, but now we have to have sentence, right? Oh, no problem. It's my pleasure. It's nothing. Not at all. We can use any of these to accept the thanks and make that person feel good. Okay. Very polite, very sweet if you do this. Okay. Um, when you ask for something, I think the most important thing is a lot of people ask me the difference between can and could, will and would. Just know that can is more polite. Ah, it, it, it. could is the most polite. Okay, so could and would are the most polite. Okay, so papti so could and would. So if we use this word, could you help me? Can you help me? Is okay. Both are good, but could you help me? Is better. It's more polite. It's more uh, sweet. Okay. Would you explain this? Oh, so sweet, so polite. Uh, some people use the word may or might. May or might is quite old. Okay, it's quite old. We don't use the word might anymore. So might you help me? Uh, is a little bit old. Okay, Calvin Eatman. May I go to the toilet? Okay. For the last thing that I want to look at today is the difference between sorry and excuse me. So these words, some people get confused. They say sorry and excuse me, quite similar, right? Um, but there are some differences. So let's have a look at them. If you do something wrong, you can use either one. So for example, you burp in public, burp is to le, er, okay? If you do that, you could say, oh, I'm sorry, or oh, excuse me. Both are good. You can use both of them when you don't hear someone or you want them to repeat. Oh, sorry, say that again. Excuse me, say that again. So to do that, all we do is we make them into question. To make them into question, we just want the sound to go up. We just want the sound to go up. Sorry, excuse me, sorry, excuse me. Okay, so the sound should go up. I think Thai people are good with tones for this, right? And finally, when you're trying to get somebody's attention or when you interrupt them. Okay, so two people are talking and I say, oh, sorry. Two people are talking and I say, oh, excuse me. Both are good. So that is how they are the same. How are they different? Well, excuse me, <clears throat> you say before you do something wrong. So when you want to call somebody, not, hey, hey, you, you. No. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hey, you, you, you. No, don't do that, right? We should say, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, could I get the bill? Excuse me, that is so polite. When we want somebody to move, maybe we want them to move or move their thing, okay? We use the word excuse me. Excuse me, ah, walk past, okay? And finally, sorry is different. We want to apologize for something you did. Uh, if you do something wrong, you say, oh, I'm sorry for being late. We cannot say, I'm excuse me for being late. We say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being late. If you feel bad for someone, Oh, I'm sorry you got a bad score. I'm sorry you missed your flight. It's not me. I didn't do it. But I can say I'm sorry for you. Okay. Almost like a song san kind of word. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. If the dog died, you say, oh, I'm so sorry your dog died. I'm so sorry. I did not kill your dog, but I can still say I'm so sorry for that. Okay. And finally, to show that you wish you didn't do something. Oh, I'm so sorry. I spent all of my money on a new phone. And now I can't pay for school. Oh, I'm so sorry. I got Shopee app and I spent all my money, right? <laughs> like that. Uh, okay, so these are the differences between excuse me and sorry. Hopefully that's a little bit clearer for you. Okay. Just to show you it in practice, it can save you a lot of time a lot easier. Okay. Can I have your attention? Easier to say, excuse me. I didn't hear what you said. Sorry, better, right? 
excuse me, but. So it's quite easy to, to show the difference and to make your English a lot easier, okay? Just to use these short words, excuse me and sorry, and to use them in the right way. Okay, thank you for listening. Do you have any questions for me? Sorry, I have to rush a little bit. Do you have any question for me today? คุณท่านใดมีคำถามไหมครับในเรื่องของการสื่อสารภาษาอังกฤษนะครับอย่างไรให้สุขภาพมากขึ้นนะครับท่านใดมีคำถามสามารถถามได้เลยนะครับก็เมื่อสักครู่นะครับจะเน้นไปในเรื่องของการการพูดภาษาอังกฤษอย่างสุขภาพนะครับก็จะมีประโยคในชีวิตประจำวันนะครับที่ที่ชาวต่างชาติจะใช้บ่อยๆนะครับ Okay, if you want to check that you understood, you can do the test in the chat. Up to you. It's just 10 questions. If you do it, you will get uh, a score straight away, and you can see just 10 questions. Maybe that will help you. You can even ask me about the question while you're doing the test. Yeah. I will cheat for you, don't worry. Teacher Am, um, I'm just thinking about for the next lesson because I can read Thai, but another teacher cannot. Maybe everybody should change their name to be like nickname or full name so that in English, so we can. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Them. Please, please do that. <laughs> okay. So Thai teacher, please change your, your name to be like your nickname or your full name, however you want us to call, but make sure it's in English because Cannot, we cannot read Thai. You can. <laughs> oh, I can, I can. Not so well, sometimes. Teacher, teacher Lee, they will see their their scores after finishing the test, the test right? Um, they will see their scores straight away. So it's okay. automatic. So they will see like what they got. The first mm -hmm. person already. Uh, Kumas, wow. <laughs> Kumas, yeah, right? 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Yeah. Kiko. <laughs> we will see you tomorrow how you do, teacher Mars. That's your test.
อ่าครูไทยครับขอเปลี่ยนชื่อรีเนมครับวิธีการทำก็คือกอดที่รูปของตัวเองที่เป็นจุดจุดจุดตัดตัดตัด and go to the bottom หลังสุดก็ click on rename rename ตัวเองเป็นภาษาอังกฤษนะครับครูคนอื่นจะได้อ่านออกครับจะได้เรียกบ้างถ้าไม่อยากให้เรียกก็วิธีการก็ก็คือเก็บให้เป็นภาษาไทยจะได้หนีได้ครับพอดีทีเชอร์ขอขอความกรุณาคุณครูทุกท่านนะครับช่วยเปลี่ยนชื่อจากภาษาไทยเป็นภาษาอังกฤษเพื่อที่จะง่ายต่อการเรียกอย่างนี้นะครับรบกวนคุณครูนิดนึงนะครับเป็นไงวะเดินใส่แมสตลอดนะอันนะครับวิธีการเปลี่ยนชื่อก็คือกดที่รูปตัวเองนะครับมันจะมีจุดสามจุดด้านหลักแล้วก็กด rename ได้เลยนะครับมีพรเปลี่ยนเรียบร้อยแล้วขอบคุณนะครับน้องบอสคะในโทรศัพท์อะค่ะมันเหมือนจะเปลี่ยนไม่ได้แล้วจะต้องออกก่อนเปล่าอ๋อในโทรศัพท์เหมือนกดตรงปฏิสิทธิ์นั้นได้ไหมคะอ่ะเดี๋ยวในโทรศัพท์ผมไม่มั่นใจน่าจะต้องกดตรงคําว่า participants ครับแล้วพอเจอชื่อตัวเองปุ๊บแล้วก็กดเปลี่ยนชื่อน่าจะเป็นอย่างนั้นนะครับครับ Or I can change name as host ได้แล้วค่ะขอบคุณมากค่ะยิงครูท่านใดยังทำแบบทดสอบไม่เสร็จไหมครับสักครู่นะคะได้ครับคุณครูครับ Teacher Lee please wait for a few minutes okay oh no problem I yeah if you have any questions I'm still here otherwise Teacher Tyler will start uh, shortly mm -hmm. Good job on your test so far. It seems everybody got good score, at least uh, six and up. So you passing. Good job, good job. A lot of ten. Wow. Good job, good job. Mm -hmm. ครับและสำหรับท็อปิกต่อไปนะครับมันก็จะอาจจะเป็นเรื่องของ uh, directions and places นะครับก็คือการบอกทิศทางนะครับโอเคเป็นเรื่อง yeah yeah, yeah I think I should now. hand over so yeah. thank you so much for listening I hope you enjoyed my lesson on pronunciation and polite speech I'm gonna hand it over to teacher Tyler who's gonna give you the next hour Okay, good morning, everybody. We will start our lesson on directions and places. So then just to start some introduction questions. So just like things like, have you ever been lost? And I know like back when I did my first road trip when I was 16, 
so 13 years ago, my parents actually gave me a paper map with me to travel with. But now, thankfully, for the most part, when we get lost, we can try to just use our phone. But sometimes, especially when you travel abroad, you don't have a SIM card set up yet, or you don't have cell service, and you don't know how to figure that out. So these are just going to be some simple ways of asking for or giving directions in English, just in case you need to find some place. So we'll start with the easy one. So if someone tells you to go straight, that means you don't turn, you go straight. And then you have left. The English word is left. So left is the same side as your heartbeat. So that's left. And then you have right. That is right. That is the opposite of left. So then those are the three main ways to tell which direction to travel without using a compass. So if you get to an intersection, you can go straight, left, or right. And then a common way to talk when you are in a town or a city, like you'll often hear like one block down the street or two blocks down the street. So here I just have a small section of a map shown. So then this part that is between the different roads, that would be considered one block. So if someone says one block down the street, that means you keep walking down that street until you get to the next street across. So you have one block down the street, and then you just can repeat that with however many number of blocks you want. So then if you have one block down the street or two blocks down the street or three blocks down the street, so on and so forth. So that is one block, two blocks. So then you could have like go one block down the street you go straight for one block, then you turn left for one block. And a common way to describe things is to say something is on your right or on your left. And just to say that something is beside something else. So when something is beside, it just means it is next to. So just describing, you'll find it on your right or on your left. And then beside. So a lot of these words are fairly basic. But then when you can put them together properly, you can manage to get find your way around. And then we'll just go over some common places you might need to find when you are traveling. So if you want to go to find the hospital. So you have hospital. Where you go if you are injured or hurt. So then you would try to find the hospital. Where you go to find medicine, you are sick. The best place to go to is the pharmacy. That one is the pharmacy. And if you are renting a car or traveling by car, 
and you need to fill up their fuel up or you run out of petrol or gas, you can just ask for a gas station. Or if you are in England or parts of Europe, you could probably ask for a petrol station. And I'll just go through and repeat those a little bit. So then you just have straight and you have left and you have right. So straight, left and right. And you have blocks on a map. You can say go one block down the street or two blocks down the street. You have on your right, on your left, and beside. So on your right, on your left, and beside. And where you go if you're injured is the hospital. You need a medicine, you go to the pharmacy. You need to fuel up, you can go to the gas station. And one last one, if you want to find a place to buy food or ingredients, you go to, you can ask for the market or some or the supermarket. Okay, so now I'll just watch the short little video. A bit of a directions game giving directions in English. So I just want everyone to follow along. Where is the school? Straight and turn right. It's on your left. Now for the next one, I want someone to give me the answer before it shows up, so I will let it go. Where is the post office? Right, so could someone tell me, anyone remember which way to the post office? <laughs> and let's see. Go straight and turn left. It's on your right. Where is the bank? That's so, so go straight, go straight two blocks. blocks and turn left. It's on your right. Where is the theater? It's 
Can anyone tell me where the theater is? Go straight two blocks and turn right. It's on your left. Where is the zoo? Go straight and turn left. It's on your left. Where is the park? Go straight one block and turn left. It's on your right. Where is the police station? Police station, you don't know. Go straight three blocks and turn right. It's on your right. Where is the library? Go straight and turn left. It's on your left. Where is the market? Go straight three blocks and turn left. It's on your left. One last one. Where is the hospital? Go straight and turn left. It's on your left. All right, so there we just had a bit of an example of using those, putting those together and putting them into practice. So now we'll just go through some dialogue and just work on pronunciation and practice saying them together. So first I will go through the dialogue by myself. Then after I will ask the question and then I will want you to respond by giving me the answer. So first one, so excuse me, how do you get to the park? And then you just go straight when leaving the main gate. 
So now, excuse me, how do you get to the park? And then you just go straight when leaving the main gate. No. Does someone want to repeat the question to me, or am I just supposed to ask for a volunteer? So then we just have, so excuse me, how do you get to the park? And then you just go straight when leaving the main gate. Uh, so should I just ask for volunteers or should I just let someone speak up? Me. Okay. So then, excuse me, how do you get to the park? Um, oh, oh, um, I'm already part to you, right? So now I'll repeat the answer. So I say the question up top. So now uh -huh. I want you to read the bottom part to me. Okay. You, uh, can, can I reply to you again? Yes. You just go straight when leaving the main gate. Very good. Thank you. Now, can Thank I you. have one other person, please? Then, so I can just hear everyone else. So then, excuse me. How do you get to the park? Do you have another volunteer, please? Teacher, yeah. teacher, would you, uh, would you like to volunteer? Teacher Uchit, he would like to volunteer. Please call to him. Uchit? Uh, okay. Uchit, So then, excuse me, how do you get to the park? Uchit, how do you get to the park? Can you read? The bottom part, please. Teacher Winnie, please. Sorry, what was that? Okay, we'll move on to the next dialogue. So, same thing. So first I will say the whole thing by myself. Then I would like a volunteer to try and respond to me after. So for this one, we have, excuse me, how do I get to the pharmacy? Then you have, you walk straight for three blocks and then turn right and it will be on your right. So excuse me, how do I get to the pharmacy? You walk straight for three blocks and then turn right and it will be on your right. So now could I please have a volunteer answer after I ask the question. So excuse me, how do I get to the pharmacy? Uh, could I have a volunteer, please? <laughs> Me. Okay. 
you walk straight to uh sorry you walk straight for three blocks and then turn light and it will be on your light very good thank you thank you is there any other volunteers Okay, then. So I'll just go through it one more time. So excuse me, how do I get to the pharmacy? And you walk straight for three blocks and then turn right and it will be on your right. We go through one more time. So then we have, excuse me, where could I find the gas station? So you have, you turn left and then keep going straight until you see the restaurant and it is beside the restaurant. No, we have no volunteers. We get someone to ask the question and another person to answer. Okay, do you need breakout rooms to do time? Yeah, okay, then we'll go on to breakout rooms now. Do you so want to explain what to do first? We can do it together. Yes. So what I want you to do now is in a smaller group, I want you to try and tell everybody in your group how to get to either a close restaurant or a close shop from your house and giving directions in English. Okay, do you want to give an example? So an example, if I was to leave from my house and I wanted to get to 7-Eleven, I would leave the gate, I would turn right, and then I would continue going straight for about five blocks, and then it would be on my left. Teacher Tyler, teacher Tyler, <laughs> yes. how do you get to a UT of Wittula school from your house? Oh, that's a long one. <laughs> <laughs> Who would live so far away? That's yeah. the question. Yeah. Turn uh, right, go straight, turn right. <laughs> okay, how many people would you like per room? I can do... Uh, how many participants? We got a lot. I'm not sure how many people are active though. So yes. I was thinking like 10 breakout rooms and then we'd have 10 participants per room. I think that would be good, yes. Okay. Let's make sure that they understand before we go. Okay. Uh, who is the Thai teacher? Teacher Moss, are you still there? Yes, I'm still there. Oh, baby teacher Moss. Uh, did you hear the activity that they have to do? I'm sorry, can you repeat that again? <laughs> okay, do you want me to do it? I can do it, I can do it. Okay. Uh, I want to hear you speak Thai. Oh, I want to hear you speak Thai. 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 I want to hear you Go out of my house, turn left about one kilometer, turn right over the bridge. I like me a hop tea, damn teacher, tie us on. How's I make me come down? Maybe you know. Nancy Jack, Ben Gum, Tyler, how many minutes are we gonna make for them? Uh, this would be because like after this, then it'll be the test. So, so I think about five five or 10 minutes and then come back yeah. and they can do feedback and ask questions after that for you. 
โอเคโอเคก็จะยากเป็นกลุ่มประมาณ5้าถึงสินาทีให้ทุกคนถามในกลุ่มนั้นนะครับว่าจากนี่ไปนู่นไปอย่างไรนะครับ How do you get to or uh, from your house to this place อะไรแบบนี้ครับให้ถามสัก3 3ที่เลยครับจะได้ฝึกเยอะๆครับถ้ามีคำถามก็หลังจาก10นาทีจะกลับมานะครับแล้วก็ถ้างงอะไรหรืออุ้ยอันนี้เราพูดไม่ได้พูดไม่ถูกนะครับก็ถามในในกลุ่มใหญ่ก็ได้ครับมีคำถามตอนนี้ไหมครับ no โอเคจะยากเป็นกลุ่มเป็น automatic ก็ได้ครับบางคนมันน่าจะไม่มีเพื่อนในกลุ่มถ้าไม่มีเพื่อนก็กลับมาที่ห้องใหญ่ได้ครับโอเค see you in five to ten minutes โอเค open all rooms เข้าในห้องได้เลยครับทุกคนโอเคทุกคนจอยนห้องได้แล้วครับบางห้องมันมีแค่หนึ่งคนสงสารไทเลอร์ดีวันนี้จะมือวิวอ่าวจากห้องไปห้องอ่าสิเออไม่แน่ใจมีบางห้องที่ปิดและบางห้องที่ปิดใช่ไหมโอเคฉันจะมาให้คุณอยู่ในห้องหนึ่งฉันจะมือวิวอ่าวทุกคนอ๋อไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่ไม
teacher Wally Pan. I will send you to room two, okay? Have some people. There a lot of people are not participating. This is so deja vu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> room two has five people now, room three, four, oh, six people. Room four, five, room five, five, room six. Room seven only has three. Do you want to go to room seven? Okay, I think it's almost done, so. Okay, okay. Hello, hi. Hello, teacher. Hi, Mila Chui Mihao. Hello, teacher. Hi. Okay, so did you ask each other about direction? So, teacher uh, Ben Jawan, how do I go from your house to a utility life school? Walk time, Mila Chui Mihao. Ben Pasa, I keep. Nok Chak Ban, Ku Ben Jawan, Chui Mihao. Yes, yeah. Okay, okay. So from your house, how do I get to a utility life school? I ก็บอกบอกทางไปโรงเรียนอย่างงี้ใช่มั้ยคะใช่ค่ะบอกทางที่ไปโรงเรียนครับ <laughs> I don't go out of the house. I go to the I go to Ayutthaya Vithyalai. And I seven eleven. And I go to seven eleven. Okay, so when you go out of your house, do you turn left? Do you turn right? Ah. Uh, you turn right. Okay. You turn right. About how long? Chatong Penan may have a kilometer from an Difficult. Okay, so can I give example? Okay. So from my house I go out and I turn left. I go straight about five hundred meters. And at the traffic light at Anuban School, I turn left and I go straight for about two kilometers. At the traffic circle, I turn right and the Utilai School is on my left. 
Okay. So just try to think of the direction left, right, like me about marker a lay bang wa jo long lien ni lute branaha ni ting jet leo side leo kwa la bit mia. Ban ban you tina hap you you name Ayutaya I I go I go to Ayutaya Vitayalai and turn right turn turn right seven eleven on two minutes. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Is that about it? Okay, okay. And then you reach a Utah Wittila school? Yes. Oh, okay. So close to close to it. Um, what about teacher Pon Pimon Pimon? How to go from your house to uh seven eleven? Uh um from how um uh to like Go to Seng uh, to uh, Ayutthaya Vithyalai School because I stay in a uh, home at Ayutthaya Vithyalai oh, School. Oh wow! <laughs> so where where is uh Seven Eleven from your house? You go out uh, from school. Off Jack Long Lane, like all the outside little park. Ah, turn turn right. Uh huh. Go to uh circle. Uh, that's so called Wong Yes, Yen. traffic circle. Yes, good. Circle. circle. And ah. turn. And turn. To light. Uh huh. Good, good. To light. And where is 7 uh, Eleven? On your left or uh, right? To left, to left. Perfect. And you will see 7 Eleven, right? Yes. Great, good. Okay. <laughs> that was the task. Okay, I think time is up. So we're going to go back to. Back to the big room, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Mr. Lee. Hi. I'm Ik. Hello. Hello. Today you uh, will go to the fitness, right? No, no, not today. I actually, I finished already with uh, my training. Oh. Yeah, I already finished all. So I will... Just exercise at home, maybe, before I go to Bangkok. Huh? Yeah, I'll move to Bangkok uh, next month. Oh, so sad, ah, teacher. <laughs> mm. Mm. So close to have to go soon. Okay, ha. Okay, I'll see you in the big room. Okay, breakout room should be ending soon, teacher Tyler. In uh, okay. 45 seconds, everybody will be kicked back here. Okay. So maybe just start with the testing. Okay. What questions are? Uh, like just Q&A or? Yeah, I think ask people for feedback and if they have any problems in the breakout rooms. Okay. Okay, 10 more seconds and then everybody should be back for sure. Okay. Welcome back everybody. Hello, hello. I hope you could practice your direction. I know my room was very... Uh, <laughs> they struggled a little bit. Okay. All right, so now that the lesson is done right before we I send you the quiz. Are there any questions or does anybody have any feedback to give me? มีปัญหาอะไรมั้ยครับได้ครับอ่ะแมวก็อยากถามครับครูอยากถามมั้ยครับทําได้มั้ยครับ
ถ้าทำไม่ได้คอยยกมือครับ if you have some problem in the breakout room you cannot describe your direction please put up your hand if you have some problem อยากรู้ว่าคำนี้ใช้อะไร and this is my cat m o k she is a d e e Anybody want my cat? I will move to Bangkok. You can have her. Can you name it? Okay, okay. I think go on to quiz. All right. Okay. So in the chat, Teacher Tyler has posted uh, a quiz again. How many questions, Teacher Tyler? So. You need to put it on your sound. Sorry, Tom. Turn on your microphone. It is eight questions, but the last three will take a little bit longer than the other ones. Okay. Okay. So not too many questions, but the last three are going to be a little bit difficult. Yes. So please answer. And are they all multiple choice or the last yes. three? Oh, okay. They're all multiple choice, but the last three you have to like figure out: turn right, turn left, however many uh, blocks. Yeah. Okay, so take your time for the last three. Don't be confused. If you have any questions, please ask myself or Teacher Tyler, uh, or Thai teacher that are here. I see Kumas. Actually, I've already get a cup of coffee. Have you? Of course. <laughs> coffee is life. Yeah. In a c a m a o n Italian roast. p o t a i p o t a i Da. Da. c a n d a a n Ma'am, Tyler, a n Ma'am wants to know: Will the groups present what they did? I think that's a good idea. Oh, yeah. If we if there's time after, that sounds like a good idea. Call somebody with a with a video on, and then ask them about their group. <laughs> Everybody will turn off their video. <laughs> yeah. Does the school need a new school cat? I'm offering my cat as <laughs> mascot.
have 11 responses already. คุณท่านใดยังทำแบบทดสอบไม่เสร็จไหมคะโอเคส่วนใหญ่เรียบร้อยแล้วนะคะโอเค teacher Tyler and me yeah. teacher Lee most of them are done with the test I think so you can continue All right. Um. Who is all still here? Uh. Travis, who are the students in the class and who are like the teacher assistants? Like, who am I supposed to call on? <laughs> oh, so we don't know, but we, I think we know most of them. Um, so we can ask, actually, you can ask anyone because even the teacher assistants had joined in the class in the groups earlier in the rooms. Okay. We start with a lovely Yupati. <laughs> I like the camera like oh. yes, yes. <laughs> I'm the first team, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so teacher Yupiti, you went into breakout room, right? And you gave direction? Yes. Okay, so what uh what were your questions? You had to go from your house? Where did where did you go? Um, I'm going from uh, our school to the Muay restaurant. Ah, oh, great. Can you give us the directions for that? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going from uh, Yutiang Thirai School and go around the road. And then we found a uh, roundabout. 
and then uh, left from roundabout and go straight. And then uh, we U turn um, uh, at the post office. Muay restaurants are next to the post office uh, at the left side. Ah, okay. Great direction. And is that restaurant good? Is it? Mm -hmm. Should I go? Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Lovely. Yeah. laughs> Thank you. Who else was in your group, Teacher Yupadi? Who was in um, your group? Sorry? Who else was in your group, your breakout oh, room? Uh, teacher Wantana. Ah. Teacher, uh, teacher Mai. And, and oh, other. Okay, I, let's I, go to I, Teacher Wantana then. Thank you so much, Teacher Yupadi. Thank you. Good job. Uh, teacher Wantana. I see you, I see you. But my can I have? but my deck up. ASMR. Teacher Wantana, me on bird. It may song, song happy, you put it for the old. It's on time, young girl. Sorry. Practice to it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, where where did you go to Tijuana? <laughs> oh, the same place. Okay, then yeah, I can yeah, choose the same one. Good eye. Yeah. Mm. Tijuana, do you know the restaurant? Uh, uh, let me think. A popular restaurant. Uh, Chokun Inter Food. You know Chokun Inter. Chok I, uh, I know Shabu every. Shokun. Oh, yeah. Sure. Oh, I don't know. You don't know? Oh. <laughs> uh, what about going to police station? Do you know where the police station is? Uh, help me, help me. Uh, I need the police. How to go? From, I just say, I would say, go yes. search of, uh, turn lights uh, in front of school. And go stage on uh, to police station uh, on the left. Good, lovely, mm -hmm. easy one. G -g 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 -g. Round of applause. <laughs> okay, uh, what about another teacher? Um, how do I say teacher Ancha? Is it Ancha? <laughs> Let me just, I'll ask you to unmute and then you know it's you, teacher. <laughs> Maybe we can send a message. Uh, can you turn on the mic? Is it teacher Ancha Anchai E? Has I don't know how to say that name. I think Anchali Ripao. Anchali, yeah. Don't harm Belauna. Hello. <laughs> How was your breakout room? Where, where, where did you have to go in the breakout room? Uh, Miss Shelley is my co. And and uh, my in group with teacher Pai Road, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, for my teacher, we like to uh to um for um for more. Okay, and how, how do you go from there? Uh, I'm very far, I just realized to uh, turn, turn right, you see, round bow, and oh, you are you turn left. Go oh, straight for three box and turn left. Go one kilometer. You see, KFC is wrong. Uh, you see, I'm part of your right hand. Right side or left side? All right. Oh, okay, okay. Right. Hey, good job. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So to give feedback, all I would suggest is maybe use some landmark too, like roundabout, okay, go yeah. over the bridge, uh, at a UTI, UTLI school, turn left, at Anuban school, go straight. Uh, that is great. Using right. direction. Thank you. Okay. Teacher Sarah? Okay, is that so we hand it over to Misha? Thank you, teacher Tyler, mm -hmm. for direction. 
Hopefully, we can use those directions as we go on holiday with teacher <laughs> Mikao. <laughs> I hope so. I was sneaking on your lesson a little bit, but <laughs> yeah, very good, guys. I like that idea of the escape room kind of thing. Great. I think that's something I have learned. It could be actually a good activity for students to be used. It's, it sounds like fun, and I'm sure, like, you have like a reality things where you actually have to escape the room and stuff like that. It's cool. Very creative, I must say. Fantastic. So Tyler, thank you very much. And I think, can I start? Yes, of course, sir. It's all yours. You have until 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock will be lunchtime, everybody. Um, I will stop recording and we will meet up again at but it will come at the end of your lesson, okay? All right, okay, guys. So teachers, students, <laughs> today you are students. Uh, so please welcome. Uh, today I will be talking about my next holiday. It's a kind of a fun topic because I'm sure everybody loves to go on holiday, right? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, absolutely. And now we're coming up to April. I'm sure most of you will go on holidays and make some plans. I know you have families, children. So that's what we will talk about. That's what is about the real life situation. When you meet somebody, okay, we can say, what is your name? and so on. But if we are talking about the future plans, what are you going to do on your break from school? Oh, I'm planning to go to Koh Samui. I'm planning to go to Brazil. I'm planning to go to South Africa. So that's what we will talk about. So let me just share the screen before we start. Uh, screen, screen, screen. Select the window uh, screen. So if I have you here. No, I don't want to share. Hold on a second, please. Desktop. Teacher training. And my next holiday. Guys, can you see my screen? Not. Yes, sir. You can, right? No, 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 no. You can read your face. Okay, just a second. So, for example, if I go down here, I will go down there. <laughs> Let me just close that. I usually use the Google Classroom, but uh, okay, Zoom, I'm sure it's doable. Uh, here we are. What about now? Yes, teacher. Yeah, you can see the screen. Yes, I can see. Very good. So thank you very much for your responses. It always makes my day when I teach my students. Can you see the screen? And it's just the silence. And I know most of you experienced that before. Right. So the topic is my next holiday. Before we start, can someone tell me what can you see in these pictures here? Any idea? What can you see? For example, if we look at the picture here. France? Oh, airplane, airplane. Okay, you can see airplane, all right, okay. What else? Not just you, Paddy. Other mm -hmm. teachers, please try to use your imaginations. Look <laughs> over here. What do we have there? Country. Mm, um, why would you say country? Um, Many countries. Um, France. Japan. Okay, France. Okay, I understand. America. Oh. London. Uh, Colosseum, maybe Italy. Okay. So all these places over here, we call them landmarks. 
the famous places in different countries, right? So oh. for example, if I travel to Thailand, you have a landmark. So oh. you have like Wat Prakeo. Wat Prakeo, yeah. oh, landmark, okay. Yeah, so you have the King's Palace, some very interesting or very famous places to see in particular country. So I know I understand you're trying to say, oh, because you can see the Big Ben. Oh, you think England? Yes, but all together we call them landmarks or like famous places, but in different countries. Then here, who are they? What do you think? These people, like one, two, three, four. There is a man, lady, a little girl, and a little boy. Who are they? Family. They are family, yes, absolutely. And you can see right on the corner here, they look like the postcards. Do you see what the people are doing here? Someone is swimming, right? I don't know if you can see it very well, but let me just tell you, in this lesson, we are going to talk about, and I hope you can remember and learn something. We will talk about the ways to travel. Okay, how can we travel? We can travel in different ways. Then we will talk about the types of holidays because sometimes we go on a different holidays. I know the holiday is a big word, but sometimes we can be more specific about the type of holiday you are looking for. Then we will have a little fun activity. We will talk about the countries and landmarks. And I hope we have some uh, geography teachers here. Who is teaching geography? Cry son, cry son, pumisat. Anybody? Or social studies? Sankom, no? Nobody teach geography in Ayutthaya Vitalai School. Kupangpun. 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 <laughs> okay. okay, so we yes. have some yes. teachers who teach geography. geography, so that would be handy. You can help your classmates okay. to answer some questions. Then obviously we will talk about the holiday activities. I do believe the next person who will uh, teach you about the sports and activities, that will help you. Because when we go on holiday, we do a lot of different activities. I know Thai people, they like to go just eat and sleep. It's okay, but I'm sure you do many more things than that. Um, yes. Yes? No? Okay. Then we will have a little bit of matching vocabulary. Here we will have a little game who is the smartest one. So we will talk about the synonyms or the words which have the same meaning compared to another word. Then we'll have a little uh, speaking practice, which is pretty easy, guys. I don't expect you to tell me the whole plan, what you're gonna do, but just a very basic thing. And at the end, I will uh, post the a link for the Google form in the, the chat. You can join there and answer 10 questions. All the questions are based on what we're gonna talk about today, okay? Do you have any questions so far? No? Are we all good? Are you ready? Guys, come on. I feel like I'm uh, teaching my students, Mateon, four, five, and six. <laughs> <laughs> Only I can hear. Mm. 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 Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> you can speak and don't be shy because to tell you the truth, uh, when you learn how to speak, 
any language, not just English. It could be Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Fr uh, French language, any language. Guys, you have to practice. You have to speak. Because if you keep quiet, you're not practicing. So that's why try. You make a mistake. Who cares? You made a mistake. You give me my job. I can correct you. I can give you advice how to say it in the right way. I can speak Thai a little bit, but I've never, never had a teacher in my life. I picked it up a little bit, 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 you know, when we make like a jigsaw puzzle, a little piece here, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And that's why I can speak Thai, not too bad, but not too great. But because I never actually studied, I just picked up some things and I always practice. And when I speak, I make a lot of mistakes, but I don't care. I still speak. And that's what you guys want to do, especially when you learn language. Right, so the first, ta the first task we have, way to travel. Obviously, we can travel locally, domestically, in the other words, or we can travel internationally. So for example, here, I have three options for you. How do you get from one place to another. We can do it in three ways, on land, on water, or by air. So for example, all of you, if you are traveling by bus, how do you think you are traveling? On land or on water or by air? On land. On land, very good. What about if you travel by helicopter? Uh, stop. Anyone else, please? Not just one teacher. Okay. Anyone else, please? Uh, Tanya Pon. Tanya Pon Mayu. Tanya Pon Pai Pognam. By air. By air. Okay, good job. Thank you. If we are traveling by sailboat, uh, let me see, let me see who else we got here. Oh, no, sorry. I tried to see all the teachers here, but no. Okay, who is in there? Uh, Natanicha, remember the name. Same old face. If we are travel by the sailboat, how do we travel? Rosarin? Yes, teacher. On Rosarin, water. if uh, we are traveling by boat, what is the on, way of traveling? On water. On water, very good. Uh, if we are traveling by hot air balloon, we are traveling by or on? By air. By air, very good. If you've been very, very naughty and you've done something bad <laughs> and you are traveling to police station by police car, you are traveling? On land. On land. Very good, you're on fire. If we travel by train. Again, please. If we travel, if we travel by, by train. On land. On land. Anyone else? Come on, guys. Let's see, there are, how many of you? There was like 60 of you. I only can hear three students answering. Uh, if we travel by van. Anyone else? Mm. Anchai, Anchai? If we travel by van, we travel on land. On, land. on land. We travel on land. So that's the main thing. This is the ways we can travel. So for example, let me ask you a question. From Ayutthaya, you are going to travel to Chiang Mai. How will you travel? 
on land, on water, or by air? On land or by air. Okay. If we travel on land, what type of transport we can use? If we travel on land, what transport do we need? By bus. Bus, what else? Car. Car. Train. Train. Bicycle. <laughs> Bicycle, oh my God, that will maybe, take maybe. a long time to get to Chiang Mai. Or unless you are going on a road trip. You can start from Ayutthaya, stop somewhere, spend mm -hmm. the night, then carry on. Yeah, why not? I'm sure we have one of the Thai superstar. He actually ran to Chiang Mai, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. I can't remember. Was it uh, not Kalabao? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Body Slam. Body Slam. Yeah, yeah. He've done that. Okay, that's. But what do we call it if you just run or walk? How do we say that? We can say travel on foot, okay? Means by walking or running. There is no transport or nothing involved. Okay, if we want to get to Kosamet, uh, non Takan, I need to get to Kosamet. How can I get there? And how should I travel? Nontakan, you may. May you, Nontakan, may you. Okay, what about Sawani? No, Sawani, may you. What about I try to read it? Pranit Prapata Parata. Am I reading right? No. The lady with a blue mask with the long hair. I tried to read your name, but I'm not very good in reading Thai. No. Okay. Tuki, I need to get to Kosamet. Yes, teacher. Okay. So, how should I travel to Kosamet? Uh, you can go by car. I can go by car, so I will go on land. That's yes. fine. And how can I get to Kosamet? You can go by the boat. And I will travel on water, on right? On water. On water. So we need to use two things here. So we have to travel by land and we need to travel on water as well. Oh. Okay, very good. So are we clear with this one? Do you have any questions about the way to travel? No, no, sir. No. Okay, very good. So please remember that will be in your quiz. Don't fail. The next thing, we are going to talk about the types of holidays. Uh, the one thing before we start talk about the types of holidays, do you understand the word holiday? Yes or no? No, please carry a pen for me. Holiday. Uh, some of you do understand, but you comprehend it in the wrong way. It's getting confusing because we have British English, that's where I come from, and we have American English. Holiday, uh, usually the Thai people will say Wang Yud, which is wrong. Okay. It's not mean holiday. In American English, yes, that will say holiday, one youth. Uh, in British England, uh, English, uh, we mean that the holiday is a long period of time. Like soon in April, we're going to have holiday, right? Maybe two weeks, three weeks. I don't know uh, how long you guys get it. Uh, usually about two weeks, right? When Sorry. you don't go to three weeks, okay, maybe three weeks. So that's mean holiday. 
Oh. It's a long period of time. If I will say the word weekend, mm -hmm. that means one youth. Mm -hmm. uh, one saw, one at it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is a weekend. It comes from the week end, end of the week. So Saturday mm -hmm. and Sunday. Mm -hmm. okay, when you. I say holiday, many students, they get confused. Where are you going on your holiday? I'm going to city park. No, that's wrong. It's weekend. Yeah, maybe on a weekend, you can go to city park, do shopping, understandable. But when we go on holiday, if you travel to different country, or you are going somewhere, even in Thailand, maybe like Koh Samet, Koh Samui, Phuket, whatever, Chiang Mai, you stay there for 10 days, five days. This is a holiday. Understand? So it means we're traveling somewhere. We are, have a lot of time off. And there are a different types of holiday. Sometimes we have a package holiday. Do you know what is package holiday? I don't no. know, did you? No. Package holiday, I know it's in Thailand, it's not as popular like uh, in England and other countries. Basically the package holiday is organized by the, by the uh, tourist company. We have different, we have like first, first flight, we have Thomas Cook. So you go to this company, tourist company and say, okay, I would like to go to Paris. Do you have any package? And package means that it includes your flight, your accommodation, which is your hotel and plus food. So when you buy the package holiday, you may pay like $2,000 for two weeks. But that will include your flight, it will include your hotel, and it will include your food. And most of the hotels, they do like all-inclusive, means you can eat breakfast for free, you can have your lunch for free, you can have your dinner for free, you can get afternoon snacks and everything for free. It's all included in the price any beverages, alcoholic beverages, or just soft drinks, everything included in the price. So when you arrive there, you don't need to spend any money. You already paid for everything. So that's what we call the package holiday. It's organized by the tourist company. It includes your flight, accommodation, and your food and drinks. Understand? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Then we have, for example, like a beach holiday. So it kind of speaks for itself. When we go to the beach, obviously we go to the sea. So we go in somewhere to the island or like a mainland, like Rayong. So most of the time we tend to spend our holiday next to the sea. Okay, we can enjoy the seafood, we can see the sunrise, sunset, uh, go do a lot of swimming, scuba diving, snorkeling, and do all other activities. But we are located next to the sea. So that's why we call it the beach holiday. Okay, there is another one. We can have a look like hiking, cycling, boating. Some people tend to go hiking around the mountains, like in Chiang Mai. You can take a tour and you can hike, then stay somewhere, sleep over the night and continue your hike and see different temples and stuff like that. Or some people prefer use uh, bicycles, so they're cycling around. Or some people like to use boats, especially like canoeing. So you can go from one island to another one and stay there for a night and so on. So basically you're just doing like exploring things, right? It's more adventure rather than a holiday. Then we have camping, which is one of my favorite holidays. 
I love camping. My wife hates it. She likes her five-star hotels with all the inclusive food, but I love camping because I think there is nothing better when we have a nice tent, especially in Thailand, you have a very luxury campsites, you have air conditioning in your tent, you have a beautiful view, you can make some barbecue, make the fire, play the guitar, sing some songs around, play some games, maybe like a badminton or something like that, make some barbecue, have a few drinks, sing some songs. This is kind of a nature holiday, okay? So you basically stay outside, but you sleep in a tent. Then we have a safari holiday. Safari holiday is about, you are staying in the countries like Kenya, South Africa, they're very uh, famous places for safari holidays. You stay at the, at some kind of accommodation and then in the morning or sometimes at night time, the big four by four wheel drive Jeep will pick you up and you can go through the jungle. You can see the wild animals like elephants, tigers, lions, whatever you think about. This is this kind of type of holiday as well, okay? Do you understand? Are you with me, guys? Yeah? Pairoz, are you okay? Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Okay, very good. So now let's have a little uh, conversation before we move on. What type of holiday do you think you would like to experience? Or what is your favorite type of holiday? So for example, uh, Tuki, when you go on holiday, wh where do you like to go? Like mountains, sea, or see the nature, camping? I, I like to go to the beach. You like to go to the beach. What is your favorite like destination? Because we have um, Kosamui, we have Phuket, we have Kosamet, Komak, and so on. What's your favorite one? Uh, my favorite is Phuket. Phuket. Why do you like Phuket? Uh, because have many beach and you can you can uh, do a lot of things. Like you can go to Iceland, you can see sun sunset, and you can. Uh, many things. I, I don't know how to explain. Okay, okay. There are a lot of activities you can do. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but one thing, just correction, not Iceland. Island. Iceland. Island. Letter S, we do not pronounce. It's silent. Island. Island. So, island, not Iceland. Okay, what are about an um, Chai, what is your favorite holiday destination and what type of holiday do you enjoy the most and Chai, we can't hear you because your microphone is off อัญชัยครับคุณครูอัญชัยครับอัญชัยไม่ได้อินใช่ไหมครับโอเค who would like to share with the class your favorite holiday destination and why do you like it anybody มีคุณครูท่านไหนอยากจะแชร์มั้ยครับว่าชอบไปเที่ยวที่ไหนยังไงครับแล้วก็ทําไมแล้วก็ทําไมแล้วก็ทําไมแล้วก็ทําไมแ
It's okay. Don't be shy. Try to speak. Yes, teacher. Okay. Do you like the beach holiday, like hiking holidays or camping? Safari Hiking. holiday. You like safari holidays. Okay, very good. Why? Um, my two sons like, like animal. Okay. Very good. And where do you usually go for safari holiday? Where? In Thailand or other countries? Uh. Uh, Bung Chua. Bung Chua is, at Supanburi. Uh, uh, Supanburi. I like Supanburi yeah. as well. It's very natural. Oh, lovely. Thank you very much. What about uh, Walipan? Thank you. Kru Walipan Kap. Thank you. Yes. And what type of holiday do you like? Uh, I like beach holiday. Beach holiday. What's your favorite destination? I can't speak. What is your favorite place to go to if you uh, go on beach holiday? Uh, Koh Samui, Phuket. It's, uh, uh, it's swimming. Uh, not swimming. Uh, where do you like the place? Pattaya, Phuket, Koh uh, Samet, Koh Samui. Has Mae Lam Phung Rayong, S Rayong. Rayong, Kosamet. Has Melampung. Melampung. Okay, I've never been there. Yeah. All right. So you enjoy swimming, right? Yeah. And take loads of sexy selfies. Okay. Okay, very good. Very good. Anyone else would like yeah. to share about their favorite destination and type of holiday? Okay. <laughs> what about uh Pong Paul? Teacher Pong Paul. Yeah. yeah, teacher. What type of holidays do you like? And I like to the uh Bangkok. Okay, so you like Bangkok. Okay. And what do you usually do in Bangkok? In the land, uh, in the landmark. Ah, okay. To see the landmarks like Wat and, uh, and 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 Sarabuli province. Sarabuli province, like Mooklet and Nakhon Nayok. Nakanayok, so you like your waterfalls, okay. Very good, very good. So guys, who is that smiling little, uh, who is the smiling young lady? What is your favorite holiday type? I can't read your name, I'm sorry. It starts with the Cho Chang and Long Kim. Long Kim. So please share with the class. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Wow. So what type of holidays do you like? <laughs> I I like go to camping. You no, like camping. Like <laughs> you see, we can be camping. I love camping. I, I like camping. Why? I like camping. I love uh in seat sitting loud of fire and with my boyfriend, my uh boyfriend's family and cooking talking uh play games talk together something like that yeah that's kind of my <laughs> holidays as well i really enjoy that <laughs> right very good good job thank you very much guys all right so here pretty much the types of holidays the next thing we will have a little activity here can you see the screen who is the geography teacher I was asking? Uh, for example, number one, number 
one what country is it if we follow the arrow what country is it is it brazil england america korea australia france england it is england correct who can answer the question two number two so we go right here what country is it อารมณ์กลัวคือกูที่ไม่ได้ตอบปิดไมค์ด้วยนะครับอเมริกา teacher America is it North America or South America North America North America okay very good let's go with the number three number three goes right over here what country is here what do you think I think France it is France because France is very close to England. We just yes. divided by the channel here. All right. Number four, let's have a look. Number four, let's go right about here. What country is it? Uh, number four, China. It is China. That's correct because China is quite big. Because... China, maybe China. It, it is China because China pretty much borders with Russia. Here we have Mongolia and here we will have Russia. So the, it's maybe my arrows are not too clear, but I would say it's China. Yes. Okay, let's go with the number five. If we are traveling right here, what country is it? Very small country. Korea. I think it is Korea, right? It is Korea. Singapore. No, Singapore, I think it's Korea. No, Singapore will be right down from, because Thailand is here, Singapore is right down here. So no, it's gotta be Korea, <laughs> okay. And what about number, 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 number six, if we go right over here, right it's at the bottom. Singapore. This is a Singapore, right? It's right at the bottom of that. What is the capital of Singapore? Singapore. Thailand has Bangkok. Singapore has Singapore. Singapore. Well done. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It top. is Singapore. Uh, the Singapore. The capital is Singapore. Yes, yeah, sir. I think it's the same. It's the same. It's uh, that's why the students get confused. It's like ah, Singapore capital. Oh, I don't know. Like Russia. We have Moscow, Thailand, yes. we have Bangkok, France, we have Paris, Singapore has Singapore. Singapore. Okay, very good. And what about this country over here, number seven? Brazil, Tisha. It is Brazil, yes. And Brazil, what continent is it? Is it North America or South America? It's South America. South America, yeah. And number eight, this country over here? Uh, Australia. Australia. Has anyone been to Australia before? Again, please, teacher. Have you ever been to Australia before? Yeah, one time in Australia. Oh, you've been one time in Australia. Where? What city? Uh, Sydney. Sydney. And what yeah. did you think? Good or? Good. I like it. Sydney. It was okay. I've been to Sydney before. It was okay, but it was not my favorite. But but I go to Sydney is uh just uh just one one day because I transit before to New Zealand. Oh, and you've been to New Zealand as well. Yeah. What do you prefer, Australia or New Zealand? I love New Zealand. New Zealand, same. Yes. I spent in New Zealand four months working. That was a great time. I wish I could go back. Right, very good, guys. So we are done with the countries here. Now, the next thing, we are going to move on to the landmarks. Okay. So, Let's have a look at this picture over here. What landmark is it? Anybody? Did you know? Do you know? I don't know. 
I I don't remember teacher <laughs> Christ on sun come in Australia we call it is in Australia Ubu. that's correct but oh. what is the name of the landmark Fat Mountain Uluru Uluru oh, is hey, a, who got that a, a word. Uluru Mountain yes uh, Uluru. Native, native Australian. Yes, it's a okay. Uluru rock, they call it. There are some nicknames for it, like a uh, flat Ayala, mountain Ayala. or table mountain, <laughs> but the original name for it is Uluru. Yes. So what about the next landmark? The Great Wall of China. Right. Great Wall of China. And what country is it? China. China. Okay. <laughs> yes. What city? Uh, France. Oh, I will tell. Uh, I will tell. Eiffel Tower. Yes. And country? France. 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 And the city? Paris. Paris, yes, very good. What about this landmark over here? The Stages of Liberty. Oh, you see, you, you, know, you know everything. <laughs> yes, this is the Statue of Liberty. And what country is it? In America. It's America and the city? New York City. New York <laughs> Yes. And this statue actually been presented by France. The France gave it to America as a present. I can't remember exactly why, but actually they built it in France and they gave it to New York. Very good. What about this one? I'm sure you've seen that, especially boys, you know, the Fast and Furious movie. What is this landmark? I don't know the name, uh -huh. but this is in Brazil, right? It is in Brazil. You're correct. The name of it is Christ the Dreamer. Christ the Dreamer. One of the tallest statues as well in Brazil, and it's in... Uh, Rio de Janeiro. Rio, Rio de Janeiro, yes, absolutely. Very famous attraction in Brazil. This one, guys, you should know because this is ASEAN country. What is this uh, landmark? Singapore. It is Singapore. Yes. What is the name of the landmark? Merlion. Merlion. Good job. And the last one? It's Big Ben in England. It's a Big Ben in England. Yes. What, what city? Cambridge, Oxford, or London? London, London. London, okay, very good. Here we will have a quick little look about the holiday activities, because when we go on holiday, we can do many different activities. For example, this picture, what does it mean? Is it go snorkeling, go swimming, go fishing, go horse riding, play tennis, play soccer, pick shells, go shopping? Picture number one over here. Can you see it? I think it's swimming. It is swimming. It's a bit funny picture. Yeah. It is swimming. <laughs> what about this picture, the second picture? Snorkeling. Snorkeling. Do you understand the word snorkeling? Basically, when you put the mask and you have a little tube and you can lay on the water in the sea and you can see different fishes and different sea creatures. So that's what we call snorkeling. It's very popular in Kotao or Kochang or Koh Samui, any islands. It's very popular activity. Uh, the one with the frog, what type of activity is it? Play tennis. Play tennis. The other one for the ladies. 
shopping of course when we go on holiday shopping is like must do list what about this one for the go fishing go fishing any ladies any lady teachers do you like to go fishing no <laughs> nobody likes fishing what about this one horse riding horse riding yes it's as well very popular activity especially if we're on the beach like if we go to hua Hin, there is a lot of horses you can ride around pretty cool then we can what about this activity here pick shells we can pick shells yep and when we pick shells, then if someone likes to do any crafts and stuff, we can make nice necklace or some pretty bracelet. And the last one? Play soccer. Play soccer. Okay. All right. What can we do at the beach? Any activities from the teachers? I want to hear the 10 options. When we go to the beach, what activity we can do? Let's go, like be a speed brainstorming. You are at the beach. What can you do? Anybody? Snorkeling, big shells. Snorkeling, big shells. What else? Pitching. Okay, we can do sea fishing. Yeah, Swimming. why not? <laughs> Swimming. Okay. Kayaking. Kayaking. Wow, well done you. Good job. Sunbath. <laughs> sunbath, but Thais, uh, Thai people don't like sunbath, but sunbath. foreigners do. Yes, yeah, sunbath, absolutely. If you go with children, what can you do with the children? Make sand castles, right? Yeah, I'm about to say that. Oh, I will vouch you for that, okay. Let's think about the things we can do at the hotel. When we stay at the hotel on holiday, what can we do? No, any naughty suggestions? If you ask students. Yeah. We can swim at the pool. if. Hotel has the pool, yeah. What else? We can go for a dinner, have some nice food. Sometimes we can go to the spa. We can go to, for a massage. We can read a book. We can watch TV. We can uh sleep as usually as you would say we can uh, go to fitness we can do many different things right. now let's see who is the most smart one we have two minutes uh now we have an activity match the words that have similar or associated meanings. So this is try to use your prior knowledge. So for example, we have fair. Fair means a price. When you go on the tuk-tuk, what is the fair? 100 baht. Mm -hmm. How much? What is the price to go from Ayutthaya VTLI school, go to Jomsurang school? What is the price? 50 baht. So fair and price, they are like synonyms. They are very similar meaning. Who can give me a synonym to the word flight? Boarding pass. Boarding pass. Okay, for example, what about the word luggage? Bags. Bags. What about the word direct?
I have a direct flight. What does it mean? Maybe non-stop? It's not maybe. It is correct. Oh, yeah. Non-stop. Basically, the plane just flies direct to the destination. It doesn't stop anywhere. Then you have to get on the other plane and fly somewhere else. It's a non-stop flight. Okay. What about board? Passengers, please start boarding the plane. Nope. Nope. Okay. I think get on. Get on, yeah. Board the plane means get on the plane. Okay, what about the word underground? Subway. 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 Okay, so we are good with some synonyms. Guys, you see, I was worried I don't have enough slides for you, but the time is running out. So the last thing, we will have a little speaking practice. So whoever didn't get the chance to speak, let's answer these three questions. Where will you go on your next holiday? Who will you go with and what will you do there? Who would like to volunteer? But please, you, it's just an example here for you to give you an idea. But you can choose your own. I will go to Koh Samui. I will go with my husband and my son. We will uh, go shopping. We will go snorkeling. And we will, I don't know, play tennis. Anyone would like to try before the quiz time? <coughs> Let me choose. Everybody turn the cameras off. So everybody's running away because it's a speaking time. Right, let me see. Oh, guys, come on. Benja One, are you here? No, Benja One is not here. What about uh, Napak? Pompey Mall. Oh, guys, where are you? Kanyarat, Natamon, Suniti. Natamon, are you here? Yes. Okay, can you tell us where you are going to go on your next holiday? Just follow this example here. I will go to, and just choose the place. I go to. I will, I will go. I will go to England. Mm -hmm. Who will you go with? I will go with my friends. Uh huh. And what will you do in England? I will go fishing. You will go fishing in England. Okay, I in will England. go to not caring. <laughs> no, you can choose your own. I will go to see Big Ben. I will go and try English food. All right, very good. Who else would like to try? <laughs> okay, sorry. It's okay, that's good. Anyone else, no? No. Okay, so the last thing is your quiz time. So what I'm gonna be doing now, I will stop sharing the screen. Okay, screen has stopped. Okay, and now guys in chat, I will send you the link for the Google form, okay? Please complete it. It's pretty easy, I'm sure you can do it. Copy and let's go there. All right, Zoom meeting. Message, paste, and send. Can you see my link? Hello? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so just join the 
Google form, you have 10 multiple choice questions. Please answer and uh, you are free to go and have your lunch. Mr. Moss, are you trying to have the same mustache like me? <laughs> I try to match you. I know, I can see you start growing a bit of a beard there. <laughs> right, let me see. So teachers, can you, can you see my Google form? Can you log in? Teacher new? Yes, I see teacher. Yeah, can you access that? Does it work? I think it should let me try. That. Yes, I can. Yeah, yeah good. very good. So. I got it. <laughs> Come on, guys. I'm expecting you all of you get 10 out of 10. If not, you can't have lunch. We have to continue. Link is in the chat, Mr. Kuhu. กดเข้าไปทำได้เลยนะครับค่ะตอนนี้ใกล้จะเที่ยงแล้วนะคะก็น่าจะการทำข้อสอบเราเอาไว้ทำหลังจากที่เราเซกุนบายกันไหมคะดีไหมคะ Is it good teacher Misha because now we almost reach a, a hit the the lunch time and you yep. can give them a few more minutes to do the 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 test Yeah it's pretty easy I think they all of them have done a pretty good job they've been a bit shy they don't want to put the camera on and speak too much, but some of them done a very good job. Well done, guys. And I think it wasn't too complicated for you and you have learned something. So the next time when I see you at school and when I ask you, how was your holiday? Where did you go? You can tell me all about it. ขอบคุณค่ะที่เชื่อมิชาค่ะแล้วก็ขอขอบคุณคุณครูด้วยนะคะตอนนี้เราเหลือผู้เข้าอบรม80ท่านซึ่งเราจะเบรกช่วงลันช์ไทม์นะคะแล้วก็ทราบว่าตอนบ่ายเนี่ยบางท่านจะมีเรื่องของการสอบเข้าของม .1 ม .4 ก็อย่างไรเนี่ยเดี๋ยวตอนบ่ายโมงนะคะเรากลับเข้ามาในคลาสอีกครั้งหนึ่งใช้ลิงก์เดิมเลยนะคะแต่ถ้าใครที่ไม่ได้เข้าหรืออาจจะไม่สะดวกก็อาจจะเปิดเสียงไว้เอาไว้ฟังหรือยังไงแล้วแต่สะดวกแต่ละท่านเลยนะคะก็เราจะมาเจอกันอีกครั้งในบ่ายโมงนะคะในคลาสนี้ค่ะสําหรับช่วงเช้านี้นะคะก็ต้องขอขอบคุณเดี๋ยวเราเจอกันอีกครั้งหนึ่งตอนบ่ายโมงเลยนะคะและเดี๋ยวเราค่อยมาคุยกันก่อนจบนะคะค่ะขอบพระคุณค่ะมีใครมีคําถามสงสัยอะไรไหมคะมีไหมคะไม่มีเลย <laughs> นนเป็นนักเรียน Most of you are get 10 out of 10. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, enjoy lunch and then see you again at 1 o'clock. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So do I go as well or just wait until everybody finish? Oh, you can go, no problem. I think everyone can leave the, the meeting now and Lee will stop the record and start again at 1 o'clock. Yes, Enjoy okay. lunch. Bye. Bye bye. Okay. bye, -bye. Thank you, Ka. Thank you, Ka. <laughs> Goodbye. See you at one o'clock. Bye. Hopefully. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> you mean you won't see Thai teacher or you won't see me? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Now I'll see you guys at one o'clock for teacher Marmo. Have a good lunch because he's talking about food. We should go to Moi restaurant. Mm.
Okay, I'm going to close the link, everyone. Um, did you copy the link for all of these tests? Teacher Moss, did you save them for anyone who wants the tests later? I, I think we should copy the link. And Okay, I'll be doing it. Uh, we have like three tests so far, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, give me a second. I think mine, I had 97 people answer mine. Average score was 9.04. So yeah. Awesome. I like your cat's voice, by the way. Mook, uh, she's a terrorist. She's <laughs> So give me like two more seconds. Okay, already copy all of the links. So we can. Okay, I'll see you all at one o'clock. I'll open the link uh, just before one o'clock. Okay, see you. Bye.